All right, let's go ahead and do boot on our Legion Go. It's very easy. All you need is a Legion Go, of course, and a USB thumbstick. Very simple. Something about 32 gigs prefer will make your life a lot easier. Now, on your Legion Go, let's go ahead and dive right into it. On the Legion Go, you're gonna go to go to Bazai website. You're gonna click download, and then you're gonna scroll down here to where it says what hardware are you using. Of course, we're using the Legion Go, so we're gonna select the Legion Go, and then for the desktop environment, we're gonna select KDE just like the Steam OS, because we're gonna add Steam OS to this device. Once you hit that, go ahead and click download. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna skip this part. And then the next thing we're gonna need is Rufus. Rufus is just so that we can create a bootable drive. Um, so you, once you have Rufus installed, of course, you're gonna go ahead and click download. You want the latest one, which is 5.5, uh, at least on their website. And you wanna go ahead and open up Rufus. Yep, so once you have Rufus open, this is the perfect time to put in your USB thumbstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. All right, so once we have it in there, um, this part is very simple. You just gonna go ahead and open up Rufus. It might ask you for an update, just press no. And then you should see your thumb drive there. So of course I have a 64 gigs in here. So here you go, I see it. Then I'm gonna click select. Then Bazai OS should be right there. If you don't find it, go to your download folder. It should be in there. Then once you have it, go ahead and click on it. Click next. And then you wanna click start. Then from here, you're gonna see right in ISO image mode. Of course, leave it as recommended. You wanna click okay. And then this one just comes up as like a, this one gives you like a, a temporary bootable, um, what's it called? Like a temporary menu, for a boot menu for you in case you have two operating system on here. Um, generally, you wanna click uh, yes if you want that option. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna click no because it has it has been known to sort of cause some issues in the, in the past. So I'm gonna skip it for this tutorial, but for those who have it working, good for you. Uh, for me, I, it just doesn't work after I do boot in the method I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go ahead and click no. Then I'm gonna click okay. So this part is gonna start creating the bootable drive. Of course, the Legion Go does have a Thunderbolt port, so I wouldn't expect it to take that long. I do have a USB 3 um, thumb drive here, stick, stick into it. So it shouldn't take that long. So let's go ahead and give it some time to finish and then we'll come back to it. So that took way longer than expected, but once this is done, the next part is we need to shrink the the, the drive. So I have a one terabyte um, um, Legion Go here. So I'm gonna split mine 50-50. I wanna give 500 to Bazai and then 500 to Windows. Now, some people might say that's a lot, but you can do it whichever way you want. Just know that when you when it's come to split it, you just put the number. Uh, to split it is very simple. So on your Legion Go, you're gonna go ahead and press the start menu. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and open up the, uh, uh, click the start menu and click the search option. And you wanna type in partition. So this will bring up the create format and hard drive partition option. And then you wanna go ahead and click on that. We are gonna use the built-in Windows partition um, uh, software for this. So once you're here, you're gonna find your drive. So I see my drive here is the C drive, disk zero. I'm gonna go ahead and right click that and then click on shrink volume. This will allow me to pretty much shrink the volume uh, to give Bazite enough space to install. So here in the shrink volume, like I mentioned, I wanna give it 500. So I'm gonna do five zero 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 to basically match the, the number of zeros uh, from, the, from the last number. And then you wanna press enter. If this is done correctly, I should now have a 500 um, gig partition that's ready to go. So there you go. So it says 488, which makes sense because Windows does a bit of weird numbering there, but that's what you want to see. You want to see an allocated space on your on your disk 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 zero. Uh, but after you have that, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's go ahead and dive into the next part. So for the next part, I recommend grabbing a keyboard because you are going to need it during the boot menu and you are going to need it during the installation. It just makes things a lot easier if you have a keyboard plugged in. So get a keyboard. Let's go ahead and dive into the next part. All right, so I just had to reposition my camera, but we're back. Okay, so now we're gonna boot into the menu, into the boot menu. So after we've done all that, you're gonna go ahead and shut down the system. Make sure to leave your USB drive in there because we are gonna need it for, um, that's where Bazai is. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down the system and we're gonna boot into the um, the option menu, which is very easy uh, on the Legion Go, which I actually, I actually appreciate that Lenovo did that for us. So to boot into the menu is very simple. You're just gonna press power and hold volume up. So let's go ahead and try it. So we're gonna go ahead and, let me go ahead and flip my mic real quick. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and press, you're gonna press power and then hold volume up right away. And if you did it correctly, you should see a white screen if it's done correctly. So I'm holding volume up and there you go. So now, now we're in the, now we're in the screen. Now we're in the boot menu now. I'm gonna let my camera, my camera might have some weird focus stuff, but there you guys see it. From here, you're gonna see the option, normal startup, bio setup, boot menu, system recovery. We're gonna go to where it says boot menu. And then here we should be able to see our USB drive, which should, which should either say the name of the USB you have or something else. But here it shows me, I do see my USB drive here that just says USB. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And this will bring me into the Bazai um, installation system. Now, when you get here, of course, this is why I say I highly recommend bringing a keyboard because this makes the process a lot easier uh, because this part you can't really tap or click or anything like that. So the keyboard makes it easier. So we're gonna go ahead and select. You can't really see it, but you get the option to either test or install. We're gonna go ahead and install. And this will, this is gonna go ahead and start the installation process, but, but it's not over yet. It's gonna bring up a few customization settings that we have to configure before it can finish. And it looks like I'm missing my thumbstick on my Legion Go. Fun. So let's wait for this to finish. If you're getting any error message during this process, I recommend taking out um, your SD card because sometimes that may interfere with booting up. I haven't had that issue yet, but for the most part, if you're having that kind of issue, just remove all external um, drive and then just leave the um, uh, the Bazai OS drive in there. Uh, so here we are. So now we're in the installation screen. Of course, we're gonna select English. Um, you select whichever language you prefer. From here, we're gonna select English and then we're presenting with a few um, installation summary here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to where it says system, um, installation destination. We're we'll gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you should see your drive here and you should see the space that we allocated to it. So here I have 488, which was the same number we saw um, in the in the Windows operating system, so which means this tells us that we did shrink it. So once you see that number, you're gonna go ahead and uh, just double click it. Make sure you have that check mark next to the drive. Um, if you can't see it, I apologize. I wish I, I was trying to screencast this, but it looks like the Lenovo system is not playing well with my capture card. But I'm, I'm gonna try to zoom in as best as I can. But you should see 48 and a green check and a black check mark. Once you see that, you're gonna click done. And then, and then the next thing you want to do is go to user creation and then you want to type in your username, which will be SOBite. And I'm going to remove the password here because I don't want password on my account. We're going to click done. And then here we're going to click begin. So this will start the installation of Bazite on your, on your, allo on your empty allocated uh, space that you created in the Windows system. We're gonna let this finish and then we, I'm gonna show you guys how to switch between Windows and Bazai to make it easy for you guys. All right, so after the installation is finished, you're gonna go ahead and reboot, but you're probably gonna get an error message, but we have to do one more thing before we can boot into Bazai. We have to turn off secure boot. Now to turn off secure boot is very simple. Boot back into the start menu and then go to BIOS. Once you're inside BIOS, you wanna go to where it says more settings and then you wanna go to security. Of course, that's where it will be. Um, and then you want to scroll down to where you see secure boot and make sure secure boot is disabled. If it's not disabled, you will not be able to boot into Bazai. I will repeat that. If you do not disable secure boot, you will not be able to boot into Bazai. I'm going to put a big message at the bottom of this video to let you know. Make sure you disable secure boot and you can put mine is already disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit. and then we should be able to boot into Bazai automatically. So the system normally boots into whatever last thing you, you were using. So if you're using Windows before, it will boot into Windows. If you're using Bazai, it will boot into Bazai. You can also go into the settings to customize which OS you prioritize by just setting the boot option to either Windows or Bazai. But in this case, I'm gonna let it boot into Bazai. Let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so after disabling secure boot, you should be able to boot into Bazite now without having any issues. So as you can see there, my system is booting up perfectly without any issues. Just remember, disable secure boot. 
um if you don't this will not work but once you once you pretty much have it installed you are good to go now you have bad site and both windows os on your system as you can see here as by as bad site load up on my system so here you have it now how do i switch back to windows you're probably asking very easy let's go ahead and shut down the system here Booting into Windows is very simple. All you have to do is boot back into the boot menu and just select Windows and you should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and shut it down and we're gonna boot back into the boot menu. Remember to boot into the boot menu is very simple. You're just gonna, go, you're just, you're just gonna press power. Let me go ahead and put my mic away. Okay, so you're gonna press power and then volume up. And then hold volume up, of course. And then you should be able to boot into the option menu. And then once you're in here, you're gonna click on boot menu, oh, boot menu. And then you wanna click Windows Boot Manager. This will bring you back to Windows so you can do whatever you want inside Windows. And if you wanna go back to Bazite, do the same thing and select Bazite. Very easy. Sometime when you boot your device, you will get the option to pick whether you want Bazite or Windows. Um, but remember, if you don't have a keyboard or mouse plugged in, you won't be able to select those options so it just it will just boot defaultly into whatever the first option is which most likely will be bazite so here you go now we're back inside windows let's go ahead and boot into bazite real quick just to show you guys that it is working i'm gonna go ahead and shut down the system and let's give it a minute to sh fully shut down i still see the light on and then let's go ahead and click the power and then volume up. Remember, that's how we boot into the uh, the option menu. And then once you see the option menu, you want to click on boot menu again. This time we're going to select Bazite. And now this will boot us back into Bazite OS. So you, 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 you get that first menu, give it like 10 seconds, and it should go ahead and just boot you defaultly in. This is what I'm talking about without the keyboard, you won't be able to click any option here, but it will boot you into Bazite. Now you have both OS on your device. You could switch between. And of course, um, they both share um, the space you give it. So Bazite is going to have the 488 um, gigs that you assigned it. And Windows is going to have the rest of those, um, the rest of the drive. So if you have a, if you have two terabyte um, Legion Go, you, you can literally put a terabyte into Bazite and a terabyte into Windows. So it's very awesome. And there you have it. We're inside Bazite OS. It's taking a bit of time to install. Oh, there you go. You got that Steam OS logo, of course, because we are running Bazite. There you go. Now you get to customize your Steam OS and pretty much play this game as your heart content. Well, there you have it. You are now do booting Windows and Bazite on your Legion Go. Uh, without any external uh, software installed besides Rufus. Let, let me know in the comment if you come across any issues or if you're facing any issues uh, with this process. Um, and then hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy Legion Go content. Of course, I want to do more. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so I can grow my channel to be able to do more. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.